Many people claim that the British Army, from 1860 to 1916, it was mandatory for every soldier to have a mustache. Now, is this an actual fact, or is this just a myth? Mustaches first became popular when the Hungarians' cavalry started to wear large, unkept mustaches to appear as intimidating. The French cavalry also adopted this, and eventually some British cavalrymen also started to have mustaches. They became sort of a sign of a warrior. The British infantry, though, still remained clean-shaven. In the Crimean War, British soldiers finally got permission to grow beards and mustaches in order to protect themselves from the cold, harsh Crimean winters. Civilians who saw photographs from the Crimean War also would start growing mustaches more often and became a popular trend to have facial hair and mustaches. British soldiers garrisoned in India since India was part of the British Empire. Uh, they were often mocked by the locals in India for not having mustaches since in the Indian culture, mustaches were a sign of masculinity. This led to different British units in India to allow their men to grow mustaches in order to be respected by the locals. Through the 1870s to 1890s, civilians started to uh, shave more often and not have as many mustaches, but the army kept their mustaches and it became a sign of a soldier. In times of large-scale war, such as the Second Boer War, when thousands of civilians were enlisted into the British Army, uh, many of them were clean-shaven, and rather than the army trying to force them to grow mustaches, they decided to focus on trying to win the war. And so many of the soldiers were just clean-shaven and didn't have mustaches, uh, because the army was just too busy trying to focus on war. Now, in 1897, the uh, War Office... Uh, put, put out a memo to different officers reminding them the importance of having their soldiers uh, to have mustaches to keep the soldiery appearance of it. And uh, 1897 was a relatively peaceful year for the British Army. And so this just goes to show that even in peacetime, many British soldiers were going clean shaven. And their officers often just let them go with it. Uh, now, here are some photographs of British soldiers in the Victorian era without mustaches. So, the first, first one here is some uh, 24th Regiment of Foot Guys in the Zulu War, many without mustaches. Uh, this other one is of uh, the Zulu War as well, it might be a South African regiment, I'm not quite sure, but also a lack of mustaches on some of the men. Uh, this other one is from the Northwest Rebellion in Canada in 1885. Uh, they were Canadian militia, so uh, their regular jobs were just civilians, uh, but the military called them up for active service, and so the regulations didn't really quite apply to them the same as the regular army. Uh, some photos from the Boer War. Uh, you can see many of the men are clean-shaven. And this photo of uh, some sergeants in the 1890s. You can uh, tell many of the sergeants have really large, impressive mustaches, but the one man is still... Uh, shaven, clean shaven. Um, now the uh, British Army decided to lift the uh, regulations on mustaches in 1916 with the introduction of gas masks since large mustaches they found to get in the way of the gas mask from working properly and so they decided to just uh, let the men go clean shaven even though men were already going clean shaven by that point. So mustaches were indeed mandatory technically in the British Army Many men still got away without mustaches, including Winston Churchill when he was in the army in the 1890s. Uh, he wasn't capable of growing a very strong, prominent mustache, so we just decided to go clean-shaven. Many men just went clean-shaven because they felt like they didn't want a mustache. And um, so, yeah, the um, depended on the regiment as well, on how relaxed they were about it or not. But, yeah, so mustaches were, in fact, part of the regulations. 
Uh, if you enjoy videos like these and want to see more history related videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, have a great day.